Hello, friends. Welcome back to HJC Games on this very fine fun day Monday, the Monday after Christmas. Hope you all had a very, very Merry Christmas. Hope it was fun and relaxing, whatever uh, whatever you needed it to be. So Hayden's here today. Got a couple new things for you. First off is the, uh, the old Lava Glide Pathway. This is the playmat for Zendikar. And the second thing is video. Now, it's not the TCG video, because that's not out yet. I'm working on that, so put a pin in that. What we do have is a mail day video. I just got a whole bunch of post-Christmas things in, and I really just, I just, I just couldn't wait, and I had to get into it. And uh, let's just dive in. Let's just dive in. I can't wait any longer. So for those of you who remember the first ever mail day, we did it because we got an order of Ramune from Amazon. And so we do have Ramune making a return appearance in this one. This is the Grape Ramu bottle. It is, it's a twist off can instead of their normal pop uh, cans or bottles. So I'm gonna give this an open, gonna try to open it close to the mic. Ooh, look at that. All right, it's grape flavored. Oh, well, that's very good. That's, that's, it's very grape. It's, um, you know, Americans, we've all had grape soda, which, oh, wow. This takes, this takes like some of the, the fruitiness and the skinniness of the grape and actually puts it into the soda. So it almost has like a wine taste to it, which is really, really cool. It's a lot less sweet and more nuanced than what you'd find in America. But the reason we have that here is we got an Asian food grocer order in. Uh, these are, I believe these are prawn chips. Uh, shrimp chips are amazing. If you've never had a shrimp chip, you haven't lived. Get yourself a shrimp chip. This is a grilled squid flavored Lay's potato chip. Super hyped for that. Savory potato chips are amazing. Um, here is a Sakura Mochi flavored Kit Kat. Uh, I believe that's a flower. So flower Mochi flavored Kit Kat. I don't know. I don't know. I'm hyped for it. Uh, this is what many people know, one of the most famous snacks from Japan, the green tea Kit Kat. If you've never had a green tea Kit Kat, it's probably the easiest thing to find in the U.S. of their snacks, and they're just amazing. Highly, highly recommend green tea Kit Kats. This is just some Japanese-style green tea mochi. Nothing special here. I'm going to freeze that, have a good time with that. And we got some Choco Banana Pies. So I think this is like a moon pie, but Japanese. And now, I'm from Mobile, Alabama, which is the actual home of Mardi Gras, not New Orleans. And we love moon pies in Mobile, so I just had to get it. And here's the rest of the ramen. Here's a banana. Um, Hello Kitty pineapple flavor. Not a Hello Kitty fan, but just wanted the pineapple flavor, and your hands are kind of tied there. I got quite a few ramen. We'll burn through them real quick. What is this? I think this is, I think this is the uh, original flavor. Here is a Naruto melon flavor. And I really did go out on the ramenes. Is this a Moscato? This is a Muscat grape flavor. Excellent, excellent. Uh, it's another regular flavored. I'll try not to show the dupes to speed up time a bit here. What else is original? Ah, here we go. Here's two new original ones. Got a lot of original flavors. Matcha flavored. Good stuff here. Big fans of the Asian food grocer. There's a lot more bottles down in there. I won't go through them all because that'll be the whole episode. But uh, man, I got a lot of originals. Cool. So now let's move on to something TCG related. And we've got, oh man, we've got, we got a feast up here we've got to deal with first, folks. This is, I didn't think this one through clearly. Logistics has never been a highlight of HJC games and it never will be. I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys that right now, you guys, gals and non-binary pals. Uh, but we're going to fix it because that's what we always do. We, we're, we're fixers. We don't get it right the first time, but we fix it and then we get it right. And once we fix it, we, we celebrate with some great moment. Ah, that's good. Man, that's good. Okay. Up next, got something from CFB. A little peek inside. This is the CFB Zendikar Rising uh, holiday gift bundle. They were doing these a few weeks ago before Christmas to, I mean, clearly they, with the cancellation of Magic Fests and all that stuff, CFB was running Magic Fest for those who don't know. They have a whole bunch of promotional material. Um, great example is these foil uh, promo soul rings on the, I don't know what it's on the back. Interesting. I wonder if this is a, maybe this is a Magic Online code. That would be insane. I don't believe that. 
But yeah, I got two of these. So they came with the foil soul rings and I believe one foil path. These are foil pull. These are full art path to exiles. So this should be a foil path and a non-foil path. Two non-foil paths. Ooh, nice. Full art lightning volts. Ooh. Ooh, muta vault. Plains. Island. And then one of each of the magic best lands. I don't know if it's always the same set of cards in here. How are we looking? And yep, they're foils. So they came a little pre pre bent because that's a foil. We'll work on curing and fixing those. For those of you who don't know, when I get foils, what I tend to do is I'll put them in a top loader. I'll put them in a sleeve. And then I've just got these large books that I just leave on top of them for, is it a mutavolt again? Yeah, it's always the mutavolt. I just leave those books on top of them for a few days. And basically what that does is as the, the foiling and the ink all sorts of dry out, the books keep the, the cards flat so they don't curl nearly as much. And it makes a huge difference. It really does. I highly recommend doing that. So those are the cards there. The promos do, are worth a little bit of money. So that's why I figured I'd pick it up because it also came with this. This is like $190. So you were getting a collector's edition box plus. Uh, this is like realistically almost $20 or $30 in promos. I'm imagining the price is probably tanked to closer to $15 now that this deal exists, but at the time, it just seemed like, you know, easy money. We do have new playmats. See what we got. These should be random. Grand Prix Bologna. This is, is this Joyra Weatherlight Captain? I want to say yes. I want to say yes. I could be wrong. We've got another one. This one should also be random. It is. This is Grand Prix Providence. If I remember correctly, this is Isareff the Awakener, which is a uh, Guilds of Ravnica card. A very weird rare from Guilds of Ravnica that saw no play in any format other than draft. Uh, we got life counters. That's what I believe this is. I think this is a commander life counter. All right, all right, all right. Got a couple of those. Really loading us up on the commander life counters. And then you got last... Oh my gosh, I can't grab it. But certainly not least, you got deck boxes. These may have sleeves in them. I'm not entirely sure. Yep, with matching sleeves. So you got deck boxes with sleeves. And this is... Who are you? She might be a character from the Ikoria Commander series. I'm not sure. I've never seen this character before. But that's the uh, CFB Holiday Gift Bundle. Oops. My bad on that. So we'll obviously be opening up these uh, Zendikar Rising Collector Boosters on video pretty soon. So that's not it. That's not it for TCG. That's a, that's a good bit. Those are two of our new play mats. You'll obviously be seeing them on stream as well. And now we have got we have some Pokemon stuff. Because it wouldn't be a mail day if there wasn't at least one Pokemon thing in here. I'll open a couple of these off camera so they come into view. You know, a little bit better. A little bit better. And while I've been talking about what we've been opening... Let's, uh, we got a few other things on the mind. First and foremost, I want you guys to go over and check out hjc.cards. Look at that. Look at that. hjc.cards is our new domain, and it will redirect you to TCG Player for us. So it's a much easier way to interact with the channel and support us by buying our cards. Here's a Dede. I love me a Dede. The Dede is my favorite Pokemon nowadays. Here's your Dede keychain. Next thing I want to talk about is Dragon Ball Super. I have now played the Dragon Ball Super card game. Hold on. It, it is amazing. It is absolutely amazing. I played it over the weekend. You know, I showed you guys that draft box. I could not wait to open the draft box. So the second I had someone over who could play in person, we opened the draft box. We did a little seal. And uh, here's a much larger Dedenne plushie. Oh, uh, we did sealed where we basically, we took 12 packs from, there's 24 packs in the draft box. There were two of us. So we split it right down the middle. We each took 12 packs and we built a sealed deck out of that. And that was super fun. Dedenne would have loved it. Uh, absolutely. This cute little boy here. Um, and this is, I just love plushies. I just love plushies. So I had to get a Dede plush. And man, I'm just ready to play some more. You know, we were only able to play for a few hours, but that means... This channel is going to definitely have more DBS content on it. Uh, here, there's a bit of Pokemon we should go through. This is VMAX Rising. This is a Japanese Pokemon set. It's kind of like half of Sword and Shield and half of Rebel Clash, like some of the later Sword and Shield cards and some of the earlier Rebel Clash cards, because like Rebel Clash exists as Rebellious Clash, and Japanese sets are kind of confusing. But to be honest with you, just had to open this. I've never opened any Japanese product. Really excited. 
to open this. Uh, in terms of what we're going to have on the channel for Dragon Ball Super, one of the next openings will be the Dragon Ball Super Vermilion Bloodline box. And the last two things we have are these Zacian V League Battle Ducks. I'm going to open these while I just chat about DBS. But DBS was really, really cool. It just... There is so much going on. There's so much strategic depth with the fact that you can attack units, you know, how deep combat is, uh, the, the color system. You do have instants. You do have responses. You do have this really liberal card economy. So I never really felt like I couldn't do anything. And with a mana system of just all of your cards are mana, like we weren't land screwed and we weren't flooded. And just honest to God, it was just more fun because of all that. It was just more fun. So this is the Zacian V League deck. This is basically just a pre-made ADP deck that Pokemon will sell you. And that's why I wanted it. I wanted it for the PTC Geo code because literally the only three cards I need to finish ADP Zacian are looking me right here in the, in the eye. So I figured may as well grab that up. Should be fun to play in person anyway. So we'll be doing a Vermilion Bloodline opening on the Dragon Ball Super front pretty soon. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open this last thing, which is a Pikaram League Battle Deck. Um, and then from there, I'm going to be getting a few more draft boxes, and I'll definitely be going hard on Vicious Rejuvenation, which is their next set. Probably, like, we're talking, I don't know, six to eight boxes or something like that. Uh, here's Pikaram. Beautiful, beautiful. I don't have a lot of this deck. I'm missing a good bit of it. So, look at that. That's a little G GX Tag Team thing there. So that'll be a fun one to actually finish up and build. Um... Uh, and then, on that front, I do want to get into Untap and stream some more Dragon Ball Super, or stream some actual Dragon Ball Super, and get some uh, gameplay in there. But that'll be a little bit of a ways out. Still kind of working on the streaming and video editing setup. Um, this is really it for everything I've got today. You know, it's a lot of stuff. Here, I'll, let me see if I can't get Dede back in view. Uh, put Dede back here, and we'll get a nice shot to close out. Um... But the last thing I do want to briefly mention is Vintage Cube is up, folks. Vintage Cube is the best way to play any card game ever. Boom, look at that. Look at that haul. Vintage Cube is the best way to play any card game ever, and I highly recommend you go play it. You have to use Magic Online, but uh, to me, I feel that's a level up moment with uh, a Magic player. When you install Magic Online, when you figure it out and you start using it, that's when you kind of graduate to like postdoctoral studies basically uh i think like uh just cube itself cube itself is like doctoral studies so moto and vintage cube is your postdoctoral studies so i highly recommend if you've never done that go check it out there's a bunch of really good podcasts and online articles that can kind of show you the archetypes and you know guide you through it i really recommend limited resources they recently did a podcast on both vintage cube and the arena cube so you can kind of like you know, get it from two angles so you can figure out the fundamentals of cube and what you should be doing with this specific cube, basically. And the reason I'm bringing all of this up, especially limited resources, is I was playing, so I was playing a game of Vintage Cube last night, and uh, the way this draft started is I initially wanted to draft Storm. I'm a Storm player. I love drafting Storm. Always have. Always will. It's super fun. Storm looked open. Uh, that proved to be less than true. But burn kind of looked open, so I thought maybe I'll go a kind of a, a stormy burn. I'll keep myself open. I'll take these burns for removal. But if mono red is open, I can drop these storm cards and keep these burn cards and just build a burn deck. Well, that's what ended up happening is mono red was wide open. Storm was not. I built this sick mono red burn deck. And this deck ends up going, uh, goes one, two. Has some bad draws. Unfortunately, the one person it wins against is the wonderful, delightful human being Marshall Sutcliffe, who is one of the co-hosts of Limited Resources. And um, I feel bad about playing Mono Red Aggro in Vintage Cube. You very much so feel like the fun police. And I know Marshall and Luis over at LR agree. Uh, so I, f I got some nasty opening hands and some nasty draws against Marshall, and he didn't stand a chance. He was playing a really cool Grixis Reanimator deck. I feel bad about this. I mean, I had to beat him, so I could say I beat him. But I still feel bad. I feel like I kind of cheated. So I just want to personally apologize to you, Marshall Sutcliffe. I love your content. You're a wonderful person. Um, and I'm sorry I had to stomp you with Mono Red Burn. I, I'm sure you understand because it happens. Uh, that's going to be about it for this one, folks. A uh, bit of a longer uh, mail day because we got so many just... So many drinks, guys. So many drinks, gals, pals. So, 
I'm going to wish you all a good night. Um, I'll catch you guys soon with the TCG video, and we'll be back with even more content very soon. Uh, be good to one another, and uh, have a good night.